Hi guys and welcome back to Amelia Tutorials. So this week we're going to show you how you can work with events and uh, add tickets to your events, which is a brand new feature that we released uh, recently. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay. Um, all right. So basically you create an event, we'll call it event tickets, and we'll create that event to last from April 26th to April 28th. Let's say from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. This is basically all that we currently need. Pricing is set to be, let's say, $100, mm -hmm. and maximum allowed spots is 100 people. So uh, what you can do here is enable custom pricing. If you enable custom pricing, you will see that this has been blocked because you want to add custom pricing. So for example, you add adults and the price will be $100 as previously set. You can then add, for example, 50 spots for adults. Then you add uh, a ticket for children, which will be half the price. And you add uh, 20 spots for children. And then you have the uh, tickets for elderly, which will be 75. Now here you add remaining 30 tickets and here you define the number of places for, for adults, children and elderly. So this would be suitable for example concerts where you have mm -hmm. a VIP deck and seating. So uh, those would be lim limited, limited amount of people for uh, uh, VIP, limited amount of people for deck, limited amount of people for seating and so on. But in case where you just want to have 100 spots uh, distributed evenly across these, you can just click on maximum allowed spots and then define those spots in here. So now you will be able to book 100 children, zero adults, zero elderly or 50-50 or 50-20-30 as we configured here. So this is basically what you wanted however you want to configure it. So now when we save this and we go to create a page where we use Amelia events, let's just create one real quick. So we add a new page uh, where we simply use the Amelia events, events short code, publish the page, and now let's take a look at it. So when a customer comes to book an event, they will be able to choose, this is it, this is event tickets. Let's start from 50. Now, uh, this is predefined to one, but of course, if you don't want any adults coming, you simply uh, reduce it to zero. Then you say, for example, uh, two uh, elderly. So a couple of grandparents will be taking a couple of children to this event. And when you continue, you will enter the name. Why don't I just click here? So that's basically it. You can see children uh, 50 times two, elderly 75 times two equals $250, confirm. And now we refresh the um, event in the back end. And you can now see four tickets purchased. When you hover over it, you see how many tickets were purchased. Two for children, two for elderly. So basically, this is how it works. As explained before, if you guys uh, have limited spots per ticket, you would need to disable this. Mm -hmm. So only 50 adults can come, uh, 20 children and 30 elderly people. Um, of course, this is not applicable in this use case, but for a concert where you have three separate um, limited uh, seatings, uh, actually sections where you have seatings, VIP or uh, deck, that's why you would use uh, tickets without maximum allowed spots. Great. Thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. And thank you guys for watching. I hope this feature helps you and helps your customers distinguish between different tickets and have a variety in what you offer in your events. 
uh, if you have any questions or suggestions or anything you would like us uh, to see us do and film please leave those down below in the comments and while you're there don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you guys for watching take care guys bye bye bye